Hey everybody, this is Brett, and uh, I want to talk about all of the great things that are going to be invented, created, discovered, experimented with as a result of all these chemicals that are in the air, food, and water. You see, people are getting really sick and desperate because of all those things, and so because moving out to the country is such a difficult option, they're experimenting and doing all kinds of things in the most polluted and toxic places, like for instance LA. You're going to see more holistic, new agey shit come out of the Santa Monica area of California than you will see any place else. These kinds of places, places where there are just, where it's the most toxic, that is where people will delve into all kinds of things, no matter whether they're very legitimate or not. Even just little tiny things. And how do I know this? <laughs> because I've been doing this for a long time. But my inner voice for a long time also told me that, man, if you really want to get healthy, you need to get the fuck out of the city to get away from municipal water and auto exhaust because those were the things that really bothered me the most. I would go ride my bike. I had this like recumbent bike. It was cool. It was a Ryan recumbent. Look that up on the internet. It was a big old long bike, seven foot long with under seat steering. And I would go ride that on Riverdale Road in Ogden, Utah and I eventually bought this mask with a charcoal filter in it. And people would see me riding around because I was like so sick. <laughs> and so what happens is people get desperate and they'll be like chanting all kinds of shit from other countries that they don't even know what the words mean. They'll be like dangling things over their heads and <laughs> saying all kinds of things that, like, doing all kinds of things, just anything to, to feel better. Any fucking thing that you can do to feel better. And it, a lot of it will have the placebo effect and you might feel better for a while. But the bottom line is that until you stop talk, intoxicating your body with all this bullshit that's in the air, food, and water, it's like, it's kind of a never-ending battle. You see, it came to me a couple of years ago that it was getting close to being the time for me to escape. And... When I finally did, I, like, I, I had to go through this, you saw me out on the road, looking, searching, where shall I go? I ended up back here in North Carolina, all I had to do was move out in the country. It wasn't really that hard. You find a place out in the country where there is no municipal water, so it has to be away from a town a little bit, but it doesn't have to be that far out. And then, as soon as you get away from the town, then you get away from the cell phone towers for the most part, too. And you get away from the cars for the most part, too. You have now dramatically reduced the toxins going in through there, there, and there. And through your ears, because you don't hear all the sirens. Because you're not in the concentrated area where human beings are. Human beings have not achieved the desired, my desired, respect for health. Health is not a high priority for people. Toys is a high priority. And a big house. And having a better education than your neighbor, etc. Having bigger and better things than the guy next door. That's a high priority. To be able to brag about the things that you have. That's a high priority. Until you get down hard in the dumps. You don't get that priority. Okay? So, it, it's cool to, to check out all these little things. You know? The raw vegan diet is significant to a degree. Okay? But... 
it's something that won't last because it may it may clean out the body really well it may give some people a lot of strength but but coconuts and papayas don't develop the mind and they have to sit and eat those foods for hours and hours a day to get what you would get with eating concentrated foods grains and beans and meats too and and so there's a lot of things that are fads there's a lot of things but they're experimenting and so this is a big thing this is very important for human evolution all of these chemicals create a drive to learn about all of these other things that can offset the toxicity of the chemicals okay for me it's better just to stay the fuck away from all the chemicals and all of the funny business it's not just that it's the lifestyle too that people spend 10 or 20 times too much time using televisions and computers and all of the other gadgets because they're new inventions they're new to human evo the human evolution it's new and so people are going ape shit over all of that after everything balances back out people will spend maybe an hour a day doing that it's not natural or healthy to sit in front of a desk for the last hundred years people have been doing that for like eight hours a day a lot of people is that healthy no there's no way that anybody should be sitting in front of it behind a desk for more than two hours in a day I guarantee you that if you continue to do that eventually you'll pay your back your legs then your mind will be affected by all of that so you have to figure out ask yourself for everything is that natural and is it healthy is this a natural place and is this a healthy place to do if you if you take a big weight whiff of uh, of uh, uh, diesel fumes from the truck in front of you and you're doing that for many many minutes a day every day you're sitting in traffic ask yourself is this healthy for me why am I doing it then what do I have to do to back my ass out of here so I want to thank you for joining me. I hope you are well. Bye-bye.